it really is huge when you start to see that that you know if your memories and you've got you know years and years and years of memories. Of course, we just saw the the movie uh, Eternal really Sunshine, The Spotless Mind, which was all about memories and associations and and uh, you know there's painful memories probably, but there's also just tons and tons of joyful mm -hmm. memories and encounters and everything. And so. It does seem to be a leap from the known or the familiar into what's the big question mark, you know, like, okay, I'm following this inner guidance and where is this exactly taking me to, you know, and, and little by little it's like we loosen from the associations. It's not really, it's not really a letting go, I mean it seems as you're going through it like you're actually letting go of something or releasing something, but what's actually happening, that's, that's from the ego's perspective. The ego says, you had something, and this is your known. But even though this world is not really the known, it seems that that's the known. That's the, that's the field of experience and memories. And it seems like, to the ego's perspective, now what are you going to do? You're going to let go of everything that you know to be good and right and true, and step into what? And yet, what it really is, from the spirit's perspective, is like, it's like an including in. So now you've got this great experience with New York City, and all you're going to do now is start to include the rest of the world into it. Exactly. The circles just grow bigger and bigger and more glorious. Yeah, I really feel that way because, of, like, a lot of my awakening, heal, like healing, of the process has been in New York, and it's just like five years ago, like. Uh, what I would say, how I felt about New York, it's like, I was like, God, I should live on the West Coast, I don't know why I'm on the East Coast. There's just so much dark, you know, hippie mentality, everyone's just the whole rat race here. But like, slowly, it just like, transformed. So, I, I changed my mind, so New York changed completely. Mm -hmm. And now it just feels like it's getting bigger in the sense of, um, even just the loss of identity, like, because I know New York as all the spont uh, spontaneous energy in New York and just so much going on, uh, it's still like, oh, my hometown, so it's very familiar, like you said, so it's just losing any sort of identity, again, just that's how, like, that's what I feel like mm -hmm. is going on, like even cellularly, I can can feel it. Yeah. And I think that's what this is and all these different things kind of going on for me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stress stress in the throat or clear it's like it can seem to the ego it is stressful. This whole awakening is very stressful because it's feeling like it's it's that this awakening is it's destruction. You know, like mm -hmm. I'll cease to be if you keep uh, opening your mind, and opening and opening and opening, because it's like light and darkness, you know, it's like when you go into a room and you turn the switch on, it's not the darkness and the light don't battle. When the light switch is on, <laughs> there is no darkness. And it's the same thing with awakening, that, that as you move into the light, all those dark, fearful beliefs and thoughts that seem to be so real, just kind of like dry up, wither away, get dissolved, you know, can't, can't coexist. Or the Bible even says, perfect love casts out fear. That, you know, you can't have perfect love and fear, because light and darkness don't go together, so it's really pretty typical. But doesn't those experiences restructure your life because you're changed then? So your life actually falls apart because that's taking place, no? Yeah, they seem, definitely the ego will judge that, and like when Evelyn called at one time, you were saying you could hardly talk, you were crying, <coughs> everything was falling apart, and we were just talking more about just let it, just let it fall apart, and then already you were getting job offers <laughs> in the middle of, of it and everything, but it definitely, it could seem to involve a restructuring of your environment, of your world, of everything, but it's really just like, your perceptions are upside down and they're getting turned right side up. They're, everything's getting turned completely around. And it's very stressful during the turn 
once you get to the point where you see that you're just dreaming the dream and you become empowered and you take full responsibility for your state of mind, then then you've kind of restabilized, uh, you might say right side up. But as you're turning, it's the ego kicking and screaming, saying, stop, stop this thing, <laughs> shut down, you know, and, and it just, that's where it takes the faith. But I have to say that what you've done, I mean, like you said, you give yourself three days, so the first, after we first had our light experience in Union Square, that was like the first thing of the ego coming up. Mm -hmm. And for most people, in my experience that I work with, it sometimes it takes days, weeks, months, or years. And so you, that was pretty quick to move through, okay, this is just fear coming up, but this is the calling of my heart to, to go for this. And so that was really rapid. <laughs> and then, now the ego is trying to <laughs> come back and say, wait a minute, not so fast. <laughs> I've had you under the chains for millennium, don't think you're just going to pull away from me in three days. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty intense. whatsoever. 